Welcome to Electron Online, and in this video we're going to take a look at how to express the concentrations of solutions. So we're talking about how much solute there is in the solution. And there's various ways of doing that, and in addition to the ones I'm going to describe here in this video, we also can talk about molarity and molality and all kinds of different ways of how to express concentrations. So we'll take them one at a time. But what we're going to do here is talk about three very significant ways of expressing the amount of solute you have in a solution. And we can do it by doing weight in weight, volume in volume, or weight in volume. What that means here is that we can express in terms of how much mass or how many, yeah, how many grams of the solute we have in how many grams of the total solution. Or we could talk about it, how much volume of the solute we have in the total volume of the solution. Or we can talk about it in terms of how many grams of the solute we have in so much volume of the solution. And remember, it's always in terms of the solution. We have this many grams in that many grams of solution, this many volumes, this many milliliters in that many milliliters of solution, and this many grams in this many milliliters of solution. It's always in reference to how much solute we have in the total solution. But then in order to prepare those solutions, well, we have to talk about how to actually do that because we don't want to start with the end volume because when we add solute to that, we'll have more than the end volume and so forth. So we'll get it in just a moment. So hopefully to some easy examples, I can show you what we're talking about here. So let's say we take 10 grams of salt and we add it to 190 grams of water. Well, when we add the two together, we'll have 200 grams of solution. And so what we talk about then is how many grams of salt we have in the total grams of solution. And if we then divide 10 grams by 20 grams, 200 grams and the multiply by 100, we end up with a 5% weight to weight solution. So that, that's what that means. So what you don't want to do when you prepare the solution is start with adding 10 grams of salt to 200 grams of water because then you'll end up with 210 grams of solution. So what you do is you add enough grams of the solute to enough grams of the water to end up with the total number of grams of the solution you want to end up with. So in this case, 10 grams is a greater percentage out of 190 grams than 5%, but again, we don't want to compare it to the, to the um, solvent, we want to compare it to the solution. All right, talk about volume of solute to volume of solution. A good example is that of alcoholic beverages. How much, what is the percentage of alcohol as a percentage of the total volume of the solution? So in this case, let's say we have 50% alcohol, which by the way is 100 proof, which is very, very strong, of course. 50% alcohol means that we have 50% alcohol to the 100% solution, or one half of the solution is alcohol by volume. So we say 50% volume to volume solution. And if we, add, if we have a solution where 75% of the total solution is alcohol, we say that we have 75% to 100% solution, or it's 75% volume to volume solution. Not a lot of, um, you're not gonna find a lot of alcoholic beverages that are 75% alcohol. All right, now let's say the third one, we have example three. Here we're going to add a certain amount of weight to a certain amount of volume of solvent to end up with a certain amount of volume of solution. Usually you want an end volume of solution. So for example, if we have a saline solution at the hospital where we take, let's say, these liter bags of solution, they put a certain amount of salt in them so that they can intravenously put that into your bloodstream to add, uh, so to add um, liquid and to add salt into your bloodstream. And the way that is done is they add two grams to a certain amount of water to end up with a certain amount of the solution. Well, in the case of the saline bags, it's usually a whole liter, not 100 milliliters, but 1,000 milliliters. But let's say you want to produce a 2% weight to volume solution. So what you do is you add two grams to a certain amount of water, or better yet, you start with two grams of salt and you add enough water to it until you have 100 milliliters of solution. So that, at that point, you have two grams of salt in 100 milliliters of solution, which is then a 2% weight to volume solution. So you don't start with 100 milliliters of water, you add enough water to the salt to end up with 100 milliliters of solution. And typically we use it, we uh, look at it in terms of how many grams per how many hundred milliliters you have, and that's how you get the percent solution. So in this case, two grams added to 100 milliliters is a 2% solution. We can also look at it in terms of parts per thousand, or parts per million, or parts per billion. Now we use that when the concentrations of 
are very, very slight. And so parts per thousand means that you have one gram per liter of solution. Parts per million means you have one gram per thousand liters of solution, which is a, a one one thousand of a gram or a milligram per liter. And finally, parts per billion means that you have one grams per one million liters or one microgram per liter, so very, very small quantities. So that's another way in expressing things in terms of weight per volume. And so we talk about how many grams for how many liters or how many grams for how many milliliters. So those are three of the main ways in which we express concentrations of solutions. And of course, we'll see some other examples of that later. So let me uh, come up with some good examples to make this very clear to you. And then we'll also talk about molality and molarity later in some later videos.